So first of all, I took a roll of foil and rolled it all up into a ball, then I just kept adding layers of foil. I could have made a ball out of just clay, but then I, that would be way too expensive, so that's why foil is a great option when making clay sculptures. Then I started beating the heck out of it just to smooth it out a bit. I know it's going to be a little bumpy, but I guess it's going to be a moon, and a moon has bumps and crevices and all that junk, so. Alright, so I took some scrap clay and rolled it out real quick, and then I just placed it on top of the foil ball. Obviously, that's not enough, so I'm going to grab some more. Here we go, and obviously, this is really ugly right now. It looks nothing like a moon, but trust me, once we add texture and then paint over this bad boy, it'll look a little better. So right now I'm just trying to smooth out the moon a little bit with my fingers and obviously there are some gaps where some of the foils exposed so I'll have to add a little bit more scrap clay which is not a big deal. I actually think a better option would just to buy some of that uh, Crayola air dry clay and then put that around a foil ball. I think it should just be a lot quicker. You don't have to cook it or anything. It'll just air dry but I didn't have that on hand so I just used polymer clay. So now we're going to add some texture to this moon using an old toothbrush. Make sure it's an old toothbrush, not your current one. So now I'm going to take my ball tool, I don't know what it's called, I'm calling it a ball tool, but I got this off Amazon and I'm simply just making some indents and holes in this moon. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to pop this baby in the oven at around 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. It probably should be in there longer, but whatever. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to take some acrylic paint and it's going to be like a darker gray and I'm just going to start painting the whole moon and I'm making sure I'm painting in those holes and crevices and whatnot. So this moon sculpture was actually pretty hot still when I was painting this, but it dried pretty fast which is nice. So now I'm going to paint it with a lighter gray. I just mixed gray with a little bit of white and I'm simply going to take my brush and then dip it in the paint and then kind of like dry it off on the paper towel and lightly brush over the moon. So anyways, here's the end result. This is really fun to make. I kind of wish I would have added some little astronaut footsteps to the moon, but whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye!